I'm a beer hound. Ow! The love affair with beer. Well, I got a couple questions asked to me uh, on the kind of history of Brewery Vivant. Pretty much, uh, I left New Holland Brewery about 2005, and uh, I've, I'm really passionate about Belgian style beers. Uh, and I wanted to get back into, even at uh, New Holland, I was kind of separated from the brewing process. So I actually went back to a brewing school uh, to learn kind of uh, the basics of brewing back up again. I did that in Germany. And then my wife came and joined me, and we did a little trip through uh, uh, Belgium and France, visiting all these little farm hand, or, uh, farm hand, farmhouse breweries and little countrysides. And uh, talked a lot of like French and Belgian brewers about you know what they thought farmhouse beers were. And uh, it was really, really cool to kind of get uh, their take on it. And of course, uh, we tried quite a few of the beers they had. And uh, I was drinking these beers thinking, you know, there's really nothing like this being served back in the U.S. And uh, so I kind of decided at that moment they would focus on uh, those styles of beer. And really it kind of encompasses that whole Wallonia region, uh, which is, you know, includes, uh, you know, uh, southern Belgium, northern France. They have these real rustic, artistic beers that I just thought were fantastic. Uh, not really brewed any particular style, but just uh, brewed... Uh, <laughs> with passion from the brewer and I thought you know that's what I want to do so uh, my wife and I we came back we started kind of fine-tuning our business plan to fit that model and uh, we happened to find a really cool building in Grand Rapids that uh, looks like a uh, monastery it used to be a funeral home back in like 1900s and uh, you walk in there you feel like you're in a European uh, pub and uh, we loved it, and that was the, the feeling we wanted to have. So we put a uh, big, long, like 20-foot-long community tables. You come in our place, you're going to sit with somebody you don't know. It's very un-American to do that. People get a little bit uncomfortable at first, but once they have a beer, they have a good conversation with someone next to them, and it's really, really cool. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what we're trying, to, we're trying to promote, you know, a feeling of community along with the beer. Uh, I don't know, and it works out really, really well, uh, and people seem to love it. Um, and the other question you asked me is just kind of what sets us apart from other breweries. You know, really what we're trying to do is just make some, uh, you know, our interpretations of like Belgian and French beers. We're not trying to replicate anything we've had over there, but we're kind of taking the inspiration uh, from those brewers to kind of use that artistic side and uh, make some beers that uh, maybe aren't you know, brewed to a specific style, but, uh, you know, they're brewed for flavor and taste, and that's really what we're trying to do. And we use that uh, using yeast from Belgium and from France, and uh, we just kind of let those uh, yeast go to work, do their thing. If it wants to ferment at 99 degrees, we let it do it, and uh, the beers uh, turn out really, really well, I think. You know, uh, it's kind of been said that, you know, brewers make wort, and then the yeast makes the beer, and that's kind of what we believe in, and uh, we just kind of let the yeast do its thing, and uh, that's pretty much what we're all about.